Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, I wanted to show you how to export a VCL file out of Trimble Business Center and get it into an Earthworks machine and use it out in the field. If you're not familiar with the VCL file, I've got a project here that you can see has a lot of different things turned on. I've got utilities turned on, existing utilities, and then new utilities, these green and blue. Um, I've got my control points around the project, and I've even got uh, cleanouts and points that were recorded from another machine. Out in the field, we recorded these with an excavator and brought them in here to Trimble Business Center as a PNT file. They show up as these triangles. But right now, I've got existing utilities. Um, this, Like I said, the yellow, the red and the blue out here, and then I've got the proposed utilities. So what a VCL file does is you can export as many surfaces as you have turned on over here on the left side. So on your layers over here in your view filter manager, if you turn on the two different surfaces and you turn on all your layers over here that you want the operators to see, that is what's going to come up in the machine and they can pick between them. Earthworks won't allow them to run two different surfaces at the same time, but they can switch in between them. So let me just show you real quick one more time. I've on the left side right here got my existing fence, design, gas, water, etc. And I've got an existing topo also. So this existing topo we took out there of this of this area before we built the design. You can see all those green lines um, kind of squiggly as we were walking it. We didn't fly this, we're in a no-fly zone. So we actually walked it um, and what it looks like with that existing topo and then the surface. That's the existing ground that was out there with kind of a pond that formed itself out there to catch the groundwater. Um, if I turn on the surface that we created, you can see that it overlays in the exact same spot and we'll turn on all of my layers. But once again, the beauty of a VCL file is I don't have to export all this stuff separately. So if the operator needed to reference some sort of an existing ground out there or an existing surface, we can have that on. The, uh, the line work that we would normally export out would just be whatever you want them to see for that design for the map. But we're going to turn on the surface right here so you've actually got the tri-mesh for two different surfaces turned on here. The existing ground, if we turn off existing, you can see this is the this designed surface, and then we've got that in the background. And I'm also gonna have on my existing utilities and all my layers over here. So up here at the top left, there's a couple different ways to export, but there's this blue with the arrow, the export tab. If we touch this, in the construction data tab on the right side right here, down at the very bottom of this list is a VCL project link exporter. So all you need to do is if you want to use the options tab to do by layer, you can, but I find to just click inside this box and then go ahead and highlight everything that I want them to see. Remember to have all the layers on over here and they will show up inside the machines or the data collector if you do to the app data collector and then whatever surfaces you've got on or want them to see, excuse me, Go ahead and highlight all that. So once everything's highlighted here, you can go ahead and tell it where you want it to go with the tab here with the three dots. So at this point, I am going to go and find my USB drive. And I'm going to go to my project library that I already have. So project library, projects, and then right here, I've got the Site Tech Wheeler training site that's already in my project library. I'm going to open that. We've got office data, which means it's the, the folder that's taking the stuff to the machines from the office versus field data that will be created if the machine records points. So office data, designs, and in here I can go ahead and name it what I need to. I'm going to change the name to Site Tech Inter Mountain Southwest Finish Grade. And I'll put uh, the date, 3-22-23. So I'm going to name it, hit save, but then make sure you come down to the bottom right down here and hit export. As soon as that's exported, we can go to the project library, look at it, go to projects, 
office data, go to designs, and I've got the other pro other ones in there that I had already created. So I already had a proposed utilities and a southwest finish grade that was in there as separate DSZ designs. But now I've got all that compacted together as the site tech and mountain southwest finish grade 322 VCL file. So this VCL file will go ahead and take it out to the machines and show you what it looks like and how you can deal with that data by turning on and off those layers out in the machine. So in my job setup here, I've got my project from uh, Site Tech Wheeler Training Site Design. And down here, you can see that if I stay on a design that's just a finished grade that's not a VCL, or down here where I've got 3D line work, I don't have any other options in here. But if I change to the VCL file, now it comes with different options down here. Because the VCL file came out with three different surfaces in there, I can go ahead now on that same design and click in here and go between an existing condition topo that we took of this project out here. I can go between a finished grade design and 3D lines right all on the same one right there. We'll leave it on finished grade design. I don't need a master alignment right now. We'll hit apply. When this file comes up, you're going to see a lot of different information right on the main screen right off the bat. All these different points right here and yellow lines were exported in that VCL file as the original ground topo that was brought in or taken out here. So all those little points everywhere. Um, we've got extra line work everywhere. If you zoom in on the main road right here, you can see that we've got topo lines, we've got utility lines, water lines, sewer lines, there's gas lines in certain areas. There's a lot going on on the screen. I even have existing utilities on here, which is this big red line across here. What we can do with a VCL file inside here is clean up what we see, just like you would in Trimble Business Center by clicking and turning on and off layers. So the way you do that is the shovel with the gear, down at the very bottom or close to the bottom of this, there's Layers Manager. In Layers Manager, you can see here all the different layers that were exported out with this file. So we'll zoom in just a little bit to show you what it would start doing if we cleaned it up. So if I want to get rid of all those yellow lines, those existing topo lines, we're going to go down here to X Topo 7522, and we're going to turn that off to where I don't see it. I can also turn off utilities if I don't want to see those right now. I could turn off storm drain, I could turn off sewer, gas, and water to clean up the main screen here. I can even get rid of points that were recorded with either the machines or brought in um, through a data collector or other means, and I can turn that off right here. The only thing I have still on is existing fence around the outside, my design, the striping lines I can even turn on and off and existing utilities. Those utilities are the red and gas, the power and gas and running through those areas right there. If I want to turn those off, I can turn those off. I'm gonna turn those back on. The only inherent problem with this is that when they're turned off, they're what I call out of sight, out of mind. So there's layers that are turned off, there's a chance that something might be hit or, or, or missed because it's turned off but it sure cleaned up the screen quite a bit by simply going, one more time, shoveling the gear down to Layers Manager and turning on and off what I do and don't want to see. What it does help out with with utilities is let's say that I do want to just know where the sewer line is. I can just turn the sewer line back on and have a reference as to where those are at. So this was a training video from Site Tech Inner Mountain on VCL files and turning on and off layers inside the machine.